time we did this, I had the worst afternoon of my life. That will be loud. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Good mom. You're a good mom. I was reading about hobbles. I'm gonna try to be soft spoken because it does make a difference. I don't think, in my opinion, it's a good thing to sell an animal, a dairy animal that you can't milk. I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about first fresheners and how to train them to the stand. If you've been following my ch channel, then you know that I've been training my first fresheners to the stand, touching their back ends, you know, messing with their teeth, all that stuff. But once I started to put Gaia and Brie on the stand to actually milk, it was a completely different story. I was talking to a breeder recently and she was telling me that hobbles work for that moment. But sometimes goats don't really do that well on hobbles because that stresses them out. And I've heard that before from Heather at Sage and Stone Homestead. She has a doe that really freaks out when she puts hobbles on. And so I've been looking into different methods because one thing is touching their back end, but now once you start milking, uh, they start to freak out. I mean, I came to the conclusion that experienced breeders explain that the best way is give them a couple of months of training. Meaning, you're gonna milk them, you're gonna get everything that you can, but you're not gonna worry about it if they kick the bucket. Just don't count on that milk. Uh, <laughs> the babies are starting to make buck sounds, the boys. Don't worry, they can't breed. It's just that they're starting and it's the funniest thing. So I'm gonna give myself some grace and I'm going to be milking them with a lot of patience. And again, instead of hobbling them, which was what I thought I was gonna to do to be able to get all the milk, I'm going to sacrifice those two months of milk. And I've heard that usually takes a couple of weeks, but for a routine to be established 100% and a go to know, especially first fresheners like Older goats can get it very fast because they're used to it, but for fresh, first fresheners, it will take a couple of months. I just want them to be trained. I just want them to be good on the stand. I just want them to feel safe and to know that this is part of their job. I mean, they get to do whatever they want, but then in order to get their grain in the morning and at night, they're gonna have to get on the stand. And that's why I also, being bringing them in at night and having their babies, uh, kind of nurse from them while she is on the stand because I want the little bit of training Something's happening down there while I'm here on the stand, but I'm eating and I'm okay That's kind of my Hey, you want to come in? You want to go in? Go Hey, you want to go in? Go I try to show you Gaia because she is the wild card here Every day it's a new adventure with her. You never know what you're getting I promise you, you never know. Oh, she's letting me. We're doing this. I feel like when they're so full, because this is more than 12 hours, she, um, the milk goes everywhere. But look at this. She's being a pro right now. Closes her legs, that's for sure. That's why sometimes milking from behind it's easier. Because when they do that and you're trying to milk from the front, it's a whole different experience. And again, I considered hobbling her and her sister, but after doing all my research, I realized that's not the way to go. Or at least that's not the way I want to go. Good job. You're a pro at this. It's more about me being tired by now than her. Maybe I should have done her first so that I was fresh, but it's okay. It's her. I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
Okay. It's all right. It's all right. The problem is that she, once I get going, she's fine. But I get tired, so I need to move my hand and I need to reposition and that's when she realizes she can give me a hard time. Once I'm down to business, she's fine. Good job. You're a good girl, Maya. Good girl. Yes, ma'am. Mama. A good mom. A mom and a good yes. She gets lots of milk. She is a good, good girl. Sometimes I have the longest in baby voice conversations of my life while I'm trying to milk because I found that that relaxes them. And once they're relaxed, they let their milk out, or down, I should say. So I try to never scream, or, you know, call for somebody, or anything that will be loud. It's all right, it's okay, it's all right, it's okay, it's all right. Good mom, you're a good mom. your children out there, they're like, why is every mom outside and my mom is not outside? They're probably sad and by now, but that's okay. That's okay because we're going to go with them in a minute, okay? I know, I know. This is so weird. This is so weird, Grams. It's all right. It's all right. You got it. Good girl. It's not eating. She's just staring at the wall, but she's still letting her milk down, so I'm not going to complain about that. I was reading about hobbles. I'm going to try to be soft-spoken because it does make a difference. I was reading about hobbles, and it was saying that uh, some goats stress so much on them, which I'm sure Gaia would have freaked out because I tried to do like something like hobbles at one point and she freaked out so much I couldn't get an ounce out of her. So I was reading about hobbles and there was this breeder, it's all right, it's okay, it's okay, that was saying that the problem with hobbles is that you have to train them to the hobbles because sometimes as they're getting used to being hobbled, they don't let their milk down because they don't like to be restricted and they're freaking out and they're they're not calm enough to let their milk down so because of that i decided to go with this different it's okay it's okay look it's all right it's all right it's all right last time she gave me such a hard time that i was so frustrated with her I really was frustrated at considering, and con even considering just selling her because she was not doing great. But I wouldn't sell a goat that wouldn't let, <laughs> you know, that wouldn't let you milk her because what purpose is there on a goat that is a dairy goat and you can't milk her? So despite being frustrated, I decided that I was going to try all these tips and all these things to train her instead of hobbling her, train her to hobbles and then have to end up training her to um, stand on the milking chair. Um, I don't think, in my opinion, it's a good thing to sell an animal, a dairy animal that you can't milk. I think that if you have a goat that is young enough to be trained to be milked to the stand, then I think it's your responsibility as a breeder to train them. 
to teach them what needs what is expected of them because there's no purpose having a, a dairy animal that you cannot milk some people call those um, they call them brooder uh, brooder goats but if I'm gonna sell an animal they're probably not going to oh. intend to have them as brooders and more like they want to have milk and breeding is just part of the process of getting milk and she I'm gonna show you her face right now she's not eating you can't you, you can't hear her chewing because she's not eating she's very uh, relaxed but she's looking at the wall she was chewing the cud. Um, the only thing that I see is that she's letting her milk down, but because usually first time fresheners will have small smaller orifices. It's okay. Now doing this without the affirmation, it never worked for me. They don't stop moving. And when I do this with the affirmation that it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. She still lets me milk her, even when she's done. Right now she's done, but I'm trying to teach her that she's done when I say she's done. That's okay. We're almost done. We're almost done, good girl. Good girl. If you're patient enough, they will stop. You just don't have to make it personal. It's all right. It's okay. Okay, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna be okay. I'll wash my hands in the meantime. But I'll be touching you all over. I know. You want to go with your baby? It's understandable. The mom wants to be with her baby. It's okay. See, she still lets me milk her despite throwing a tantrum and telling me she didn't want to be milked anymore. And actually, this is a pretty good stream. It's alright. It's alright, Daya. You're doing a great job. We're doing a great job. So coming back to what I was saying is, you know, it was selfish of me to think, you know, it's hard to milk her. I don't want to do this. I I rather have somebody else do it. Um, I think that there's a period of time where you can train a doe, and when they're older and you don't milk them, you just use them for babies. Then it's really hard to get all the milk that you could have gotten if you uh, would have trained them from the beginning. You know, it's just, I think it's a breeder responsibility to do it. And if you can train your does, if there's a more, if, if there's a harder to milk a doe, like she is super soft. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Her udder looks ginormous because she's pressing down on my hand. But um, if I can't milk them, then I can't sell them either. So that is why all this training needs to happen no matter how long it takes. And she's letting me milk her. And so now that she's letting me, I'm gonna let her go. You wanna go with your baby? Yes, of course. I want to go with my baby. Of course. So I got, so I got this much milk, um, and this is just milk. I had more foam, but this is just the milk, and I got this extra. I'm gonna let her go right now that we're in good standing, and that way um, she can have a very good experience. I'm gonna let her stay there. And I think in the end, long term, 
that's gonna be the best approach for them and I thought I'd share this with you um, because maybe your goals are just milk and you do need the milk immediately I would love the milk immediately I'm not gonna lie I would love to have the milk immediately but at the same time I think I rather prioritize training them and be patient and try to understand that it's just gonna take time and they might surprise me it may take shorter than that